What's going on guys, today I decided to let you all see some of my recent 3D printed PC build projects. This idea of creating custom PC builds actually started a while back when Palette introduced their Palette Maker feature. The one that lets users design and swap their own custom GPU covers. Since then I've been completely obsessed with the idea of combining 3D printing and PC building and hardware customization to a whole new level. At first it started small just designing simple parts like GPU backplates and small accent pieces but as I got deeper into it I realized how powerful 3D printing could be for creating entire custom builds. Things like fan mounts, theme props and even full case panels all personalized, all 3D printed. With the Palette Maker feature you can download files for the Gaming Pro, Duo and Wide Series GPU. All you need to do is click download on the exact model, load them in your 3D slicer software and send it to your 3D printer. A few days back I received something that's going to take these projects to the next level, the Bamboo Lab H2D 3D printer. This thing is an absolute beast, the Bamboo Lab H2D is known for its high speed and precision. It features a core XY system, auto bed leveling and supports multi-material printing, which means I can print parts in different colors or materials in a single run. It also got a really solid build quality and comes pre-calibrated out of the box. So setup time is super quick, within minutes I was already printing my first test piece. So the first thing I tried printing was a new GPU cover using the Palette Maker STL files for my Palette RTX 5070 Gaming Pro S. I usually start with designing the GPU cover. If it's done and I'm happy, I start designing other props to make the PC build complete. They all turn out amazing, super clean, fits perfectly and honestly it gives the build a complete unique personality. This is what I love most about 3D printing. I'm planning to design even more custom PC builds soon. The goal is always to create something that's both functional and artistic. And for the rest of the video, I'll be showing my recent projects using the Palette Maker feature. There are some final project videos on my page, so you can check them out. And there's more to come soon. Thanks for watching.